Hey, good day. It's Mr. B again with another educational tutorial in the cosmetology industry. Today, I want to just take about five minutes, if I can squeeze this into five minutes, about thermal curling. All right. Basically, uh, we use the curling iron, flat iron, the micelles, and thermal curling. Okay, so now before I get started, I need to clarify something with the public. I am a real cosmetology teacher. I have licensed in two states. I have licensed in the state of Tennessee and I'm licensed in the state of Washington. Okay, so I, I'm a real, I have credentials as a real cosmetology instructor. I just like to take some of the things I've learned through the 16 years that I've been teaching cosmetology and to pass it on to the young stylists that's up and coming. Enough said. Moving on. Okay, thermal curling. All right, class, you remember in chapter 17 in the book in our, let me see, my latest book right here, the one we use in class, chapter 17 talks about hairstyling. In that hairstyling, it talks about wet hairstyling, rollers, rods, thermal curling, blow dry and curl, blow dry the round brush, a bunch of things about hairstyling. Okay, today I just want to hit real quick, I'll give you a few nuggets or a refresher on the thermal curling. All right, first thing you want to do, as always, client consultation, look at that client hair, find out what texture it is, and move on. Okay, now, also really quick, Relax hair. Relax hair. You have to be really careful with relax hair like this. This is relax hair. Okay. Because the book says you need to check the temperature real careful when you're working with heat on relax hair. Because it's already relaxed by the sodium hydroxide relaxer. And then you need just a little bit of heat to, you know, to keep it looking good, to keep it some bend in there. You know, to keep some volume going on, just a little bit of heat, not much. So how do we check the temperature? Real quick, we check the temperature by how? Right. You want to take something white. White tissue, white neck strip, white towel, and take your flat iron or your thermal curling tool and just clamp it on there and then hold it for a few seconds. Then if you take it off, and it looks any kind of sort of brown, then you know that it's, it's too hot. I'm going to take this off. Okay. Do I see any kind of sort of brown? Nope. I don't. No kind of sort of brown. I like to double check. Be safe. Clamp it on again. All right. All right. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Any kind of brown on there? Nope. So that lets me know my temperature is at a safe temperature. Is that a yep? Safe temperature. All right. Few things I want before I move. One more thing. The comb you use. Okay. The book says in chapter 17, thermal styling and the straightening section to use a hard rubber comb. Why? Because <coughs> because the comb is used as a protective barrier between the thermal curl or the flat iron and your client's scalp. Okay, this is what they call a bone comb. This is a hard rubber comb. But sometimes the rubber may not be as hard as you would like it to be, and it still might melt, but you don't want your comb to melt. Anyway, so I'm used to bone comb, you know, to, to comb my hair. I don't have a thermal curling iron. I got the flat iron, as you see. So I'm just going to use this to comb my hair with. All right, so. But again, remind you, on relaxed hair like this, the book says to use... Gentle temperature because of his hair is already straightened. The desulfide bonds has already been broken down by the sodium hydroxide relaxer and then uh, neutralized and then put back together straight. So that's already a chemical straightener on the hair. A chemical straightener on the hair. This is a heat straightener. Now remember what we said that breaks down the sulfide bonds in earlier chapters. Either extreme heat. Okay. Extreme heat. Break down the sulfide bond. Okay, not heat from a hair dryer or blow dryer, but if you have the temperature on this too heat, too hot, it's going to break down those uh, the sulfide bonds. Okay, real quick, I'm running out of time. Got to show you what this, this is right here. It's what we call my cell wax or my cell cream, what a lot of people use down south, you know, and where they do it. That's where they do a lot of my cell curling uh, with the stove, traditional stove. We'll talk about that later, but this is the my cell cream. It's 
Use an orange just red looking like you can buy this at Sally's anywhere. But you take some of this, right? And what that does, you know, a lot of people don't like to use it because they use too much when they use it. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. You can't even see that on my hand. You want to take it, you want to kind of finger it through the hair there, okay? I'm trying to speed up. I don't like to stay on here but a short bit of time because some of y'all be going to sleep in class like I don't see you. Okay, here you go. Just because I had a light cut out so you can watch the DVD, don't mean I ain't watching you go to sleep. But anyway, here we go. Now take that. Go take this. After you done check the temperature, take the flat iron, right? Okay. This is a good flat iron. This one costs a lot of money. Forgot how much you paid for it, but you know where I shop at. But I, you know, so yeah, you understand. So, go take it, and we're going to show you how to just take that flat iron, go in there, then bring it on down through there. Okay, there you go. All right, there you go. Okay, going to go, go get that right. Going to take some more. Going to straighten the other part out, right? Don't let stuff scare you. Don't be scared to get in there and do that flat iron. Okay, don't be scared to get in there. Take that flat iron. Go on down. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Just like don't be afraid to get that flat iron. Just don't burn your client, okay? Okay, take that flat iron. Get in there and keep on flat ironing the hair. Okay, okay. Just take that flat iron. Now, once you get one side flat iron, you got to get a little bit more. Once you get one side flat iron, you want to go take that in there. Make sure you get that real good in there. And yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. So once you get one side done, you want to go to the other side. You can't leave. You can't leave it undone. I'm just about done. Okay. Remember, you check the temperature to make sure that this was not too hot. Did we see any brown spots on that? No, we did not. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm just about done. I'm set finish this side right here. Then I'm going to be done for the day. Don't want to burn my face. Okay, then we go on the flat iron that. Move on down, move on down. Take that and slide on down, slide on down, slide on down. Yeah, we got that going. You want to match it up just like the other side there. Oh, look there. See? The magic of a flat iron. Magic of a flat iron. Magic of a flat iron. Look at that. Look. Look at that. Straighten. Straighten that out. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woo, okay, so here we go. All right, so uh, does that look like that? No, it don't. You're going to have to fix it to match it up. You want your clients to leave out of there so very, very happy. So you want to fix that up to make it look like that. Okay, now, now, now we, we all, okay, just about done. One more strand. Take that flat iron. Then you want to kind of. Slide it on through. There we go. There you go. Slide it on through. Slide it on through. Slide it on through. Yeah, there we go. Slide it on through. All right. Okay. So, all right. So, all right. So, now, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Remember, test the temperature. All right. Test the temperature of that flat iron on some white tissue white towel or white neck strip so it won't be too high for your client's hair all right and don't never say oops be polite check the temperature if you don't remember anything else check the temperature of your flat iron so it won't be too hot and you won't have a disaster remember that and when you're straightening or curling relaxed hair it should be at a moderate to low heat because it's already been relaxed been chemically straightened see you when we see you